so you might have seen all those crystal ball photography on instagram so in this video we'll be doing exactly that just that we won't be using any crystal ball we'll be replicating the entire thing in adobe photoshop so in case you're new over here my name is prith viraj and you're watching pr 75k so if you find this video helpful i'd really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button for more such videos regarding content creation and also check me out on instagram for more more content i guess Bruh. so firstly import your photo on adobe photoshop so i am going to use this image of a glacier or something like that this kind of looks better with landscapes but you can try different things out so firstly create a new layer by clicking this button and then right click on the rectangular marquee tool and select the elliptical one now just drag and draw a circle so you might see that it is becoming kind of an oval but you can just press shift on your keyboard and it will snap it to a perfect circle now take the paint bucket tool and fill it in black in color on the new layer we just created. Now you can just move it around and place it to wherever you like and also you can make it larger or smaller as per your needs but I think it's perfect for me right now. So now just go ahead and create a duplicate of the original photo that you imported and drag and drop the layer to the top. Now go to filter and then click on distort and from there click on spare eyes. So you can see uh, what the amount does so you can just click on 100% and as you see it will make it look like as if it was taken by a GoPro or some fisheye camera. So that's what we are after. Now right click on the layer and create a clipping mask. So that will basically fit the entire image in the circle that we created. Now you can press uh, Ctrl T on your keyboard or Command T or just enable that show transformation controls and then resize it. So as you can see, it has those curved corners that we are after. If you want to go off symmetrical, then you can just press shift and then adjust the photo a bit. Cause it's a spherical ball, so yeah, it can get distorted. So it completely makes sense. So we are basically done over here. But now let's tweak a few things to make it look even more realistic. So select the black layer, black circular layer and click on the quick selection tool. And then select the circle and then select the duplicated layer and go to filter distort once again and this time select all. Now you can see the effect on that mini window so we can just add a little bit of that and then you'll be getting a different kind of effect. So this step is basically optional if you want you can add this to all. if not it's totally fine. Now select the black circular layer and go to effects and select inner glow and now make sure the inner glow color is in white and now play around with the size till the time you get that blending effect of the white from the outside of the circle like as it should look like as if the white color is getting blended as it goes in so for me around 136 pixels is fine and now you can just decrease the opacity a bit so that it blends in well let me choose around 77 percent should work and hit on ok so you can get that spherical ball kind of look by now and now create a new layer and let's add some shadows so again let's uh, select the black circular layer using the select quick selection tool and then select the new layer and maybe we should take a soft brush and maybe increase the size of it and take the black color and then you can just paint it over the circle so it will kind of give a shadow kind of feel now change the blend mode to soft light and as you can see it is giving a subtle kind of effect as if there was a shadow casting over there now create another new layer and take the elliptical marquee tool once again and this time draw an oval like this and again fill it with black and then you can place it below the crystal itself now go to filter and go to blur and hit on Gaussian blur and this will basically blend the that thing a bit so that it looks as if it is the shadow of the crystal ball and then you can also decrease the opacity a bit so that it kinda looks better and blends in well with the image over here and now let's do some finishing touches so just create a new layer let's take a smaller brush and a soft brush and make sure a white color is selected and now you can just draw something like this as if there's a the thing light reflection kind of coming up so it kind of looks cool so after that just you can just uh, decrease the opacity and there we basically have it and to make it pop out even more you can add a bit of caution blur to the background itself and that's pretty much done so it looks kind of different so you can try out different things and experiment with different kind of effects and then you can get the perfect photo for your instagram and i'm pretty sure it will get a lot of likes so give it a try so as you can see it was rather quite easy to do it so i hope you'll give them a try and if you share it on instagram don't forget to tag me so that i can see it myself so thanks for watching i would really appreciate if you could hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more such videos regarding content creation and i will catch you guys in the next video very soon till then hasta la vista